kudos to the likes of Callum McGregor for his support play this afternoon. Lustig and Samunovic will probably get the headlines for their crucial headers at crucial times in the game, either side of half-time. But this is a team game, it's a squad game, and as those Celtic fans go and celebrate with their supporters over in that corner of Pataudry, they can all relax because title number eight is in the bag. The fans are desperate for ten, the fans talk about ten, but you can't get ten without first getting eight and nine, and these players have to focus on the here and now. They have to, as Neil Lennon would say, ignore all the noise going on around about and concentrate on each game as it comes, and goodness me, they did that this afternoon and put in a very professional performance to get the points this afternoon that will bring that title and that trophy day to Celtic Park in just two weeks' time. These players, well, most of these players have experienced this before, but it will still be as special. Most professional footballers go through a whole career and don't even win one medal. Some of these guys are are into double figures for medals with Celtic, and it, 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 the feeling will just remain as strong as ever, and these guys will celebrate, oh, they will party. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, it might be something that they've all achieved many times over, but the hard work that they put in every day in training and the effort and the, the intensity that they have to put in in training and in, in games, you know, it makes it all the worthwhile. They work so hard for that, so it doesn't matter how many times they win the league, every time they do it, these moments like that just really mean the world to them because it requires everything, every day they need to put everything into their training and their preparation to, to get these results. So much hard work from not just the players and the, the management, but the, the, all the backroom staff as well. It's a really the reward for this is, is absolutely worth all the hard work that they put in. So Neil Lennon is back. I'm sure if you told him at the start of the season that he would be here celebrating as Celtic won their eighth title in a row, he might have thought, well, maybe in the crowd or something like that. But, you know, of course, he was Hibs manager, but here he is, and it just shows you, you never know what's round the corner in football, but credit to Neil Lennon for coming in and, and steadying the ship and being a, a, a calming influence. I know it's people might think it's a, an odd thing to, 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 to say about Neil Lennon, but he has been such a calming influence when he came in because, as he said when he came in, it's not as if things were broken, things were working. So his job was to come in and just make sure, make sure he was there, make sure he was around and make sure that the machine kept going the way it had been running. And he's done that, he's let John Kennedy and, and, and Damien Duff and the guys who were here before continue with the success that Brendan Rodgers had started. He's made a few tweaks here and there when he saw fit. But in general, his job was to just make sure that things kept going the way they were going. And he's done that. It's, a, it's perhaps a style of management that he hasn't done before. And he's possibly learned a lot about himself in the last few weeks. But as he said when he came here, he's here for the club. Coming into... A Celtic team as manager is always a hugely daunting task, but for Neil Lennon to come into a, a double treble winning Celtic team as well is just, you know, the weight of expectation was so great. And as you say, he's, he's done really well managing it. Okay, there's been a few 0 0 draws that have frustrated him and the players, but that just speaks to how hungry some of these teams are. And it also just speaks to, you know, him trying to just get to really know the players and, and inject his style of football into this team as well without making wholesale changes, as I said. But he's done a great job in that. The Celtic have conceded only two goals under Neil Lennon since he came in, one of which was a, a penalty. Yeah. So, you know, the defence has been great. You see Joseph Simonovic just, you know, come to life with the arrival of, of Neil Lennon and, and quite a few other players as well. He's really, he's got the best out of some players and that's what good managers do. 
Kieran Tierney there going over and getting a selfie with the with the crowd. A photo that will no doubt be be shared by thousands of Celtic fans who will take to social media and celebrate this victory as only they know how. The T-shirts are on. And the celebrations will continue on the pitch and into the dressing room and further beyond. So the players make their way towards the tunnel. The Celtic fans have stayed behind, but they will celebrate on the way back down to Glasgow if that's where they're headed. A lot of Celtic fans, of course, in the northeast of Glasgow anyway. But what an afternoon it's been. Eight titles in a row for Celtic. What a performance this afternoon. Mikel Lustig with the first goal five minutes before half-time. Jozo Sumunovic eight minutes into the break with another one of those, we'll call it a trademark header as Neil Lennon is doing the, the aeroplane celebrations. He better be careful. And the final goal came just a minute to go when Odson Edwards' right foot low shot beat Joe Lewis. Three points, three goals, eight titles in a row. On to the Glasgow Derby and then a potential treble treble at Hamden Park against Hearts on the 25th of May. Yes, that incredible date in Celtic's history could be writing another chapter in just three weeks' time. It's been a pleasure to have your company this afternoon. My thanks to Tony Connolly. Thanks for listening. Let the celebrations begin. It finishes here at Pataudry. Aberdeen nil, Celtic three.